right, man, we are back at it again. We had a great start this morning, so I was able to take my kids to school, enjoy my time, keyword time. Uh, jet Carriers, one of the companies I applied for was trying to take my time. they like, oh, you gotta work Monday through Friday from eight to five. And I said, absolutely not. You will not be taking my time. So uh, that is not an independent contractor. I don't know what that is, but uh, I'm not falling for that. Uh, so we got a Dolly order from Lowe's. Uh, I like that Dolly added Lowe's and they pay way better than Freight and all the other apps. So um, picking up a lot of items, but they're very light. Uh, the heaviest item is 18 pounds and I think everything else is like five pounds. So I don't know what it is, but uh, we should be good to go. So I'm headed there now, it is 10 o'clock. So got to eat breakfast, enjoy my time, keyword time. And now it's trying to make a little money. So uh, I don't know what's gonna happen today. The apps have been really slow, but I am not complaining anymore, man. I'm focused on making, it's free money out here. So just go get it. That's, that's the mentality I got now. So no more complaining, no more whining. We already know how these apps work. Complaining and whining is not gonna change anything. These companies do not care about you. And I'm gonna share that in another video. I have a video I'm putting out later about low boards and these gig apps. Very important. Um, but no more complaining, man. It's free money. Go get it. Let's go. All right, y'all, we are at the pickup. Like I said, I have no idea what I'm picking up, but I'm gonna guess it's gonna be in lumber. So I'm just gonna park over there because it's a lot of items, so we'll see. Plus, uh, I still got to get rid of my pallet. Uh, I got a pallet from last night, um, and it's from Lowe's, so I'm going to give it right back to him. All right, y'all. So, as usual, order's not ready. Uh, it's like 300 or something items. So it's, it looks like it's some type of plywood or something. So hurry up and wait. I just missed a uh, dispatch order too, waiting on this. So I almost accepted it, but it was, I was gonna be really late. So uh, I think it was paying like 40 bucks or something like that. I don't know how long it's gonna take. We'll see. y'all we headed to the drop-off uh, it's 
about six miles. So I missed two dispatch orders because of this. I'm stuck. I've been stuck on this for like 30, 40 minutes already. Um, that was uh, that was pretty incredible, man. Uh, the way it was on, the way the wood was, uh, the way the forklift had to grab it, he would have had to put it in the long way, and obviously it's not gonna fit. So he he, he turned it sideways, got it balanced in my van and then they used the cart with some plywood to balance the other side. Forklift was able to come out, grab it from the long end and push it in. That was pretty incredible, man. That guy's got some skills. I didn't think they was gonna be able to do it. I was like, I was ready to hand load it. I was like, go ahead and cut the straps. I'll just, I'll just toss it in. And uh, they was like, oh no, nah, I got you. Shout out to that dude, man. He got skills. All right, y'all, we are here. Uh, it look like there's some guys here working, so. I might have a hand getting this unloaded. y'all uh done with that order um the it was two guys there i guess they're putting up the fence they did not help me unload i thought they was gonna help me but they didn't so um and the guy kind of had an attitude too because he didn't like the way i stacked the the wood huh? so anyways uh that job paid um a hundred dollars um i did miss two dispatch orders there was actually another good uh dispatch order i wasn't able to get but um i'll be out here for a little bit um as you guys know i did i had raised my insurance to a million dollars um i had got hired by two uh dispatching companies uh i know a and e was one of them a and e i have deactivated their account uh so i'm no longer with them you already know about them got a video on that and then um the other two i just want to share the other two i did get to try them i never got to run a load so i was i ran i was available for about three weeks. I bid it, man, I bid it probably about 20 to 30 times a day on each app. Uh, just was not able to get a load. So the first company, uh, I have nothing bad to say about the companies. I think the dispatchers were cool. I like the way they do it. Um, they were consistently sending me loads. I just never won. <laughs> so that got frustrating. I'm sure if I stuck with it, uh, you know, things would get better, but uh, I just don't, my heart's not in it. So. Anyways, I'm gonna just pass it on just in case you're interested. So one of them is called, uh, I wanna say it's called Red Max. Uh, I think Red Max Logistics. Um, I know a couple subscribers have mentioned that company, but I did my research on them. I liked them. They were hiring in my area. They're pretty much everywhere. So you, uh, you could look them up to see if they're in your area. Uh, it's pretty easy to get on. Um, you know, went through the whole process and then uh, they, they use an app. Uh, you'll download that app and uh, that's how you'll get your loads and you'll bid through that app. Um, like I said, nothing bad to say. Uh, you basically, in the morning, you have to let them know if you're available or if you're not available. Uh, so it's just a text message. Um, you can stop working anytime. You'll just toggle the on and off switch at the bottom. Uh, the other company is called, uh, oh man, what were they called? I don't know how to pronounce the name, but it's uh, B-R-O-N-P-E, L-L-C. So uh, that company, they hire uh, cargo vans as well as uh, box trucks and straight trucks. Uh, they were hiring in my area and um, they actually use Telegram. So you have to download the Telegram app and that's how you communicate with the dispatcher. And then they have another app 
where they track the drivers um 360 something i don't remember the name of it but uh it's another app you can see all the drivers in your area you can see where everybody's at all that stuff um i liked it it was cool like i said it was very busy um they were sending me loads pretty much every day but just never won so i did get frustrated but i do like i said i have nothing bad to say about both companies um so do your own research uh but those are the two that i had signed up with um i'm sure everyone's gonna have something to say about each one i don't know if some of you guys use them or not but uh they both had a lot of drivers so obviously somebody likes it um but anyways uh, i just want to share that information um uh, i'm kind of in a hot spot right now so i'm just waiting to get another order i really don't want to make my videos too long so uh if i get another order pretty quick uh i'll record it but other than that i'll just update you guys and let you know uh what other jobs i did at the end one hour later in west philadelphia born and raised on the playground is where i spend most of my days what y'all know about that it's boring y'all ain't nothing going on so i'm about to shoot some hoops Yeah, I still got it. I still got it. Let me put this camera over here so y'all can see. Got that shot. What Wesley Snipes say? Ooh, it's pretty. It's so pretty. Oh, Alright y'all, so this is something I do now. I keep a basketball in the back of my cargo van uh, on slow days. That way I got something to do. I'm actually in a good area, good, good, good hot spot. I'm also thinking about throwing my bike back there too, so I can bike ride. But anyways, uh, one thing I do want to clarify for some subscribers, because a lot of people come to my channel and uh, they think I'm hurting for money. Um, this is my job, like, you know, the cargo van, I bought it to, to make money, but I'm not hurting for money. So I look at it more as a hobby, more than work, if you get what I'm saying. So on slow days or days I only make $100 or whatever, I don't lose sleep over it like i'm good i have plenty of income coming into my house so uh the whole point of the channel is to show you you can make money but it's it's based on you so it's how hard you work how hard you grind what you want to do there's so many different ways to make money with it that's really what it's all about so people are always going to critique and judge but i'm good i just want you to know like if i only make a hundred dollars today or eighty dollars or whatever i'm good so uh i just want to clarify that uh my guy uh my guy gig geezer i know uh he uh claimed to be a professional bowler and uh i think his last video was a great video too one of his videos i can't remember which one but great video uh i know he had mentioned about bowling and people challenging them or something like that but the other thing bowling i've not picked up a bowling ball in two years now I've not practiced in two years. Although I know that there's some folks that, yeah, man, I, I, I kick your ass bowling. I beg to defer, buddy. Um, I'm up to the challenge at any time. I will, I will love to go head to head with Mr. Gig Geezer on them lanes. I'm actually, I have my own ball, so I'm about to start practicing again. We're going to do it. We are going to do it. So if I make this three, no editing. If I make this three, I know, guaranteed I'll beat Mr. Gig Geezer in bowling. Y'all not sure if I made it. it. It went straight through. If you see, it got a hole. See, it got a hole on the other side of the net. Went right through there. Didn't even touch nothing. Ooh. 
Let me do it again just so y'all can't say nothing. Let's get one more. This used to be my spot too, right here. <laughs> Went through the other hole of the net. Right through the other hole. They didn't even hit the net, y'all. Right through there. Two in a row. Let's go. All right, y'all. Uh, so I, I was on my way to a freight. It was like thirty something, like thirty five dollar order, but uh, like I accepted it, but then it went away. So I, I don't know what happened. I don't know if it got canceled or what, but it now says unavailable. So um, <clears throat> still not nothing. Just waiting on something. So I'm gonna still be out here for another two to three hours. Oh yeah. Uh, about 12 30 so um before i go though um uh, i do want to let you guys know that um favor which is in texas only food delivery app i'm i'm big on it i always promote it all the time it's only in texas so anybody that is in texas if you uh need like an extra side job or something to do just for extra money slow days like this uh, so far I only made a hundred dollars with my dolly order um favor is the way to go so uh you're not gonna get you know two dollars and fifty cents like doordash and all that stuff uh favor knows how to pay their drivers so they have promos all week and all weekend long um between now and november 30th if you are in texas and you're not on favor you can use my code uh, my code is also in the description if you sign up with my code what if you complete 100 deliveries within 45 days uh, you will get an extra $300 so um, they're basically hiring right now they're looking for drivers this is the time to get on because uh, it does fill up fast so I highly promote favor um, it's been good to me, man. These promos, like you're, you'll see no promos like this on any other food delivery app. Um, it is is the absolute best. They do have slow times. I would say that uh, in the morning is a good time. Usually like around afternoon, uh, it kind of slows down. Uh, I like working evening. Evenings is the busiest, that's the fastest. And they are also contracted with HEB. So HEB is the best orders because you'll get, basically you go, to the uh, curbside pickup and you just pick up groceries you don't have to get out your car you do everything on the phone they bring the uh, groceries out to your car they put it in your trunk and you just drop it off at the customer's house you don't have to go inside or anything you leave it at the doorstep take a photo and roll out those are the highest paying ones uh on average when i did them i used to get between 12 and 20 bucks uh depending on how the customer tip uh but the promos it doesn't the, the customer doesn't have to tip like it doesn't matter what they tip you're gonna make a guaranteed amount after you do so many. So anyways, I just wanted to share that. Um, again, I am trying to keep my videos a little shorter. So if I do get anything else, I'll let you know. But uh, right now it's really slow. All the apps are slow. Uh, oh, and one more thing before I go. Uh, one of the carrier companies that I applied for, I applied for like five of them. So Jet Carriers, I gave them the boot. It's a nine to five. I did have another company email me uh and I, I called back i'm just waiting on a call uh return call but uh they basically said they have work for me between tuesdays and fridays i don't know if it's uh like a nine to five type work or if it's on demand uh on demand is the only route i'm gonna go i'm not i'm not locking myself into no uh, schedule so anyways i'm gonna find out more about that i will let you know as soon as i find out uh other than that there is one company, I'm already good. I passed background, everything's done. I'm just waiting on them to give me the app so I can log in, but I don't know why it's taking so long. So, um, so yeah, man, just making moves day by day. So anyways, I'm gonna end it here. Um, we'll pick up again tomorrow, got nothing planned. I might have a possible task, tasker job on Friday. 
Uh, actually, it'll be a direct booking. Um, other than that, man, we'll be back at it again tomorrow. So uh, y'all have a good one, and I will catch y'all on the next one.